orange culture. Is that the reason why you're wearing orange, orange? today? Um, not really. <laughs> but yeah, we can say that. <laughs> well, I noticed that a lot of orange culture pieces has a lot of orange in it. Not necessarily, actually. We don't use a lot of orange. The last collection probably had more orange than we've ever used in our entire five years of owning a brand. So yeah, we don't use a lot of orange. For us, orange is not really the color, it's just what it represents for us, that uniqueness and sort of that oddness, which is what orange culture is usually about. Okay, the orange, does it have any meaning to the people behind the brand or is it something um, that... Yeah, I mean, when orange culture started, um, orange culture was inspired by a story that I've written called The Orange Boy, which was really just about that sort of uh, unique and individualistic sort of point of view, that sort of person who sort of doesn't care what people think and who might be seen as awkward or weird or different. And if you think about the color orange, it's not necessarily the most um, the most adaptable color. People don't really usually sort of run towards orange because it's really weird, it's really odd, it's not the most easy color to wear. So we wanted some a color that represented sort of the aesthetic of the brand and the story of the brand and sort of the idea of what the brand is about, which is just about being different and being proud. Okay, I'm not going to name other brands specifically but do you want to answer your concern about the fact that the orange the name orange mm -hmm. and also the color orange is associated with a lot of other brands as well so um, not necessarily to be honest i don't think you know like the other brands is associated with whether it's a bank or it's a fashion brand or whatever uh, for us to mean something entirely different so you know how it is where somebody can have one thing and to them it means something different it's the same way with the color for us could be worn by 10 different people, but for us it has an entirely different meaning. So I don't necessarily care if anybody else is in orange use it, you know. It's good for us if the color becomes even more popular. So when you search for orange, you find many things, you find orange culture as well. So I don't really you know, use it and enjoy it. <laughs> so you've never had any challenges in, when it comes to branding and identity because of that? Not really, because even our logo isn't orange. We don't okay. necessarily use the color orange. We don't use cliche actual orange so we don't have any issues with branding because it isn't about the color it's just the name you know what i mean so we've never had an issue with branding oh that's fantastic so you do both menswear and women's wear we do menswear primarily but because it's androgynous men's wear, women wear it as well when you say androgynous I, I feel like as if it's the only only fashion conscious people who would understand what you mean? What is, oh. what would you, right? Do you struggle with having um, to explain to people what well, your aesthetic is? Think, or? Yeah, of course. I mean, that's something that we've had to, especially with our um, sort of Nigerian clientele. But as we've gone further in the industry, we find that people are becoming more aware. Maybe it's because of TV, because of traveling, or whatever it is, or maybe because we've also helped to educate people. But it's just about having close to sort of our versatile. Because it's like having a piece that a man owns where a woman can say, okay, I like this shirt, I can wear this shirt, tie it here differently and it has a different shape. So it's almost clothes that can be converted from being a man's shirt to a woman's shirt, from being a man's pop trousers to a woman's pop trousers. So it's clothes that, you know, a man can wear, a woman can wear. So it's just that sort of bloodline between like, who actually can wear. But I feel like as if the advantage is on the woman, because a woman can wear a nice orange culture shirt and she'll be fine, she'll still look good in it. But then a guy can't really combine, maybe if you do an orange culture skirt, a guy can't specifically go out and buy an orange culture skirt and incorporate it into his wardrobe, you know? Well, there's Kanye you now, so men are wearing skirts, but not that, but you know, I feel like um, because our clothes are made for men, we don't, our focus is really about more of um, giving the men the sort of stronger, um, option so because i'm made more to fit a man and then if the woman if it's the woman nicely as well then she can wear it. so not every piece is as convertible you know or easily convertible for a woman but at least every piece is made for a man so the man sort of has the stronger sort of power when it comes to the clothes how do you keep on coming up with things that sort of is marketable is sellable and it's profitable in the fashion industry that's a really intense one because I mean, I think for me, I would just speak from my own personal sort of decision. I think I just don't care. <laughs> you don't care. Yeah. So I just do what I love to do and I find a way to make it marketable. So I don't necessarily sit down and think, oh my God, is this something that, you know, has everybody has, um, everybody thinks is amazing, everybody thinks it's marketable. I do what I think is marketable and if it's not marketable, I make it marketable. So. I'm creating my sort of my own universe and if it's something that you feel you can be a part of, it's something that you feel appeals to you, then you know, be a part of it. But 
I don't concern myself too much mm. with it. After all, you know, it's like being at it's like almost being an artist. You create pieces and then you almost have to find a way to connect it to the people or find a way to sort of market it to the people. So my first part is just creating what I love and not thinking so much about it and then finding a way to make it marketable, whether it's through social media, whether it's through clientele, whether it is through celebrities, whatever it is. But the first time when I'm conceptualizing, I honestly don't care. Interesting. <laughs> and that's just the truth. Yeah, because I feel like as if you always have to worry about the financial implication, yes. it will take away from your creativity. It will do, believe me, it will take away from you. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So um, what would you say is your biggest uh, victory so far with the brand? I think being here is my biggest victory, like five years, like I don't know how many brands um, have been able to survive, you know, consistently creating collections in Nigeria because it's so tough, like, you know, it's easy to just create a shwebi and to just mm -hmm. make suits and sell them, but to actually be a fashion brand that can be seen as an international sort of, sort of holding that international standard, creating seasonal collections trying to sell, trying to just sort of follow the standard for which brands are known for internationally is really difficult. So being able to do that for five years, I feel it's the biggest victory. I'm hoping to do that for the next 10, 20, and eventually outlive me amount of years. What is one advantage being in the Nigerian market has been able to afford you? Um, I think opportunity, because if I was probably in, maybe like in London or New York, where it's already a saturated market, it would be so much harder to penetrate. Being here is like a, it's like an open ground for entry. It's not it's free entry. It's easier to sort of be a nobody and become a somebody. You know what I mean? So I feel like Nigeria has given me the opportunity, also because our story is so strong and it's so interesting. And I feel like for me, it's such a place of creativity. It's giving me the opportunity to be like you know, I can sort of research and create my own adventure because it's almost untapped territory in terms of like creating like fashion brands that can tell our own story. So giving me an opportunity, I feel, has been the biggest strength being a Nigerian brand. Alright. Oh, today I'm actually wearing mostly Nigerian. So, mm. like, orange culture, this is orange culture. My jeans are D. Ricky, this, this young, cool guy who makes amazing jeans. My jewelry is from Kenya. So this is from Adele de Jacques, and this is from Brooklyn, London, it's made in Abidjan. Uh -huh. And this is from Nodrog, so it's Nigerian as well. So actually, I'm wearing African, well my shoes are not African, they are Kenzo. Kenzo, aside, okay. Yeah, aside from that, I'm wearing African from head to ankle. You said your, your jewelry, the, the neck piece, is, yeah. it's Kenyan, right? Yes. What was the name again? Adele de Jacques. Adele de Jacques, I think one of our presenters was yes, wearing something actually, similar. Yes, actually, he wears them as well, amazing stuff. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so to kind of wrap things up, uh, I have two questions, and the first one is, if I'm looking for orange culture pieces, or if anybody is interested in orange culture, where can they pick up their pieces? And um, in Lagos, you can pick it up at Alara, in EI, and at Grave Outlet Studios, and at Stranger Lagos. Stranger. So those are the three options, and you can always contact us on social media at Orange Culture NG. We're very interactive, so if you DM us, comments, we'll always respond to you. And yeah, if you want to shop us outside of Nigeria, if you're in America, you can go to Sengwa. If you're in London, you can use not just in April. And yeah, that's about it for now. But we'll be expanding some more. Nice. So, in a nutshell, what would you like the world to know about orange culture? I think I would just like people to see, understand that orange culture is about um, breaking boundaries and breaking barriers. And we're very free minded, we're not constrained by literally anything. <laughs> so we're creating a brand that can cross borders, that can represent Nigeria internationally for winter, spring, summer and that just tells the Nigerian story in an entirely different way. So I think you should try to connect with Orange Culture because it's a fresh brand and it will always bring you something exciting. Alright, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. All right. <laughs>